Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So with the release of the new Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind trailer, we got plenty of new information. Initially, I was going to do a big analysis video of the trailer as a whole, however I thought on it and I decided to break up my analysis into separate videos so I can focus on one part of the trailer at a time. I figured it's not only easier for you guys to watch, but it also allows me to break down specific parts of the trailer and go more in depth than I normally would have. I hope you guys are looking forward to this new format of analyzing trailers and I can't wait to get it started. In this episode, I will be going over team attacks, or these new forms of situation commands. The image here on screen actually comes straight from the Kingdom Hearts wiki, confirming that these will probably be called team attacks. So, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So one of the things that stood out to me the most with this trailer was the new situation commands or the team attacks demonstrated in the Keyblade Graveyard. We see this twice. The first time was with Lee, Roxas, and Xion, then the second again with Aqua and Ventus. These had to be some sort of limit attacks within combat. Initially, I'm sure people can mistake them for something that goes outside of combat and they're just full on cutscenes, but upon further analysis, I think that I've concluded that they're definitely going to be in-game attacks based on the renders of the characters and just the movements in general. They are identical to how they look in combat rather than in a cutscene. So the first team attack is going to be again with Lee, Roxas, and Xion. It is during the Isa fight. We see Lee jump to the air and I feel like we really aren't talking about this as much as we should have as a community, but Lee has his Keyblade in his hand and then turns it into his chakrams. It seems like this is some sort of Keyblade transformation which is really amazing if you ask me. Glad to see them showing Lee some love in the DLC after getting bodied by Xemnas in the base game. <laughs> He then throws his chakrams at Isa and surrounds him in a fiery type of circle. They then continue to pop back up at him and he continues to throw them back at Isa while Xion and Roxas attack. While on fire, Isa is then struck by Xion and Roxas in some sort of cross finisher attack that they perform. Then Lee swings in and hits him with a fiery explosion being his finishing blow. I love how flashy and epic this combo looks. It really shows off the Keyblade swinging dynamic between Roxas and Xion, and then the explosive passion between not only Lee with them, but also with Isa as well. It really is awesome, and I love what they did with this one. So let's move on to the second team attack, which is much more brief and less to analyze. This one's between Aqua and Ven. We see Aqua shoot out a Blizzard spell, and just like in the game, Ven slides on it, but at the same time, it's really not like it is in the game since Ven turns his Keyblade into a snowboard and then rides it through the air. It seems as though Aqua is controlling the path Ven is riding on given the rotation of her body and her Keyblade. The finisher appears to be Aqua stopping the path and Ven leaping up, coming back down, and spinning down in some sort of ice cyclone. The target is very hard to make out, but it seems based on the fact that it's a black silhouette that this is probably Vanitas. In the scene prior, we know Terranor is also there as well, just like in the original fight. It's kind of sad though that, you know, Terra isn't a part of this team attack. I mean, obviously he still is under the influence of Xehanort at this point, but my point being that the Sea Salt trio has such a cool and complete team attack. I would love to see the entire Wayfinder trio's team attack as well. But who knows, maybe we'll see one, maybe we won't. So since we have the team attack with Lee, Roxas, and Xion, where we can assume is where we will be playing as Roxas, the other team attack, which is Aqua and Ven, where we can assume this is where we will be playing as Aqua, we know that there is another segment where we play as Riku and then Sora is our party member. Will they have some sort of team attack? I don't know. I'd love to see it. Maybe if it was some sort of new version of Session from Kingdom Hearts 2, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys have to think about that in the comments. So guys, that is the end of the analysis that I have for the new situation commands that we got in the Kingdom Hearts 3 TGS 2019 trailer, which is going to be called probably Team Attacks. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts down below. Also, remember to like the video and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. There are more videos like this going over the trailer on the way. So thank you all so much for watching and until the next video, I will catch you all later. Bye bye.